Trapmore gang, we are back with another video and today we're going to be taking it all the way back to jolly old England. We're going to get our muskets out, we're going to get our bayonets out, our shanks out, because this is a UK drill story and today we're going to be talking about one of the biggest, one of the bestest, and if his lyrics are anything to go by, one of the baddest UK drill rappers in the name. I'm talking about Digger D, aka Diggles, but don't let the name fool you. Despite sounding like a character out of a children's cartoon show, I assure you, that Digger D ain't anybody to be messed with. Now, I've spent the last week thoroughly enjoying Digger D's third mixtape, Naughty by Nature. It's absolutely fire if you ask me. If you're an American fan, there's a lot to enjoy on this project. He's got numerous tracks that are inspired by American 50 Cent songs. Pump 101 has a beat that you may find familiar. Hold It Down, an interpolation of 50 Cent's 21 questions. And he's also made the effort to get the Americans involved too. He's got Be Love on the track What You Reckon, which was an absolute banger if you ask me, the Bronx and the UK finally linked up. We've got G-Lock with Moneybag Yo, that's a banger of a track, very unexpected collab if you ask me. He's even got Orlando Drill legend Hot Boy on a track called Rambo, all about swinging shanks at your ops faces and cutting it up. Apparently even Hot Boy is not scared of swinging a shank and ripping somebody's face open like goddamn John Travolta and Nicolas Cage in that movie about cutting faces off. Other standout tracks from the project that I'm a big fan of include Load Up and main road because I can't lie I just love a booming UK drill beat and some crime talk it's it's what the genre is all about people it's it's a very good album now I know a fair bit about Digger D I've seen his BBC documentary I've followed his career since the days when he was getting his music banned when he was rolling with the gang slash rap crew 1011 who actually received an injunction from the police banning them from making music at one point but today with the help of my homie Mark I'm going to be taking a slightly closer look at Digger D's backstory to understand just how much of a shooter this young man was. And before you say, how are you going to mislabel these drill rappers as shooters and gangsters? Well, let's just take a look at the cover of the Naughty by Nature project. An amazing cover, by the way, which shows Digger D kind of in different stages of evolution throughout his life. Look, here he is crawling along his little baby Digger D, little Diggles. Here is a young, look, what's looking like a toddler, but he's got a little, you know what I mean? He's got a little something. He's strapped up with a little something. That looks like a little toy laser gun or something. You know what I'm saying? He's getting a little bit bigger. He's getting his little fake cigarettes going. Now he's smoking a big old joint. You know what I mean? He's he's on smoke. But it's figure five where we see Shotty Shane. This is Digger D holding a sawn-off shotgun at a point in his life where he is indeed a self-proclaimed shooter. Something that he talks about at length on this project. Something that he's talked about at length on social media. And something that I would genuinely, just for personal reasons, like to look a little bit closer into. So if there's one thing that's clear from Digger D's music and his social media posting, it's that he likes the straps. He likes guns. He likes knives. He likes, he likes all kind of weaponry like any sweaty young boy growing up these days would. Here's him holding a couple of uh, couple of pieces. I don't know, maybe some of the gun experts in the comments can let me know what those are. This is him on vacation in America, I assume holding a couple of legal straps. But look, he's having a great time. He's got the extended clip in there. You know how charming. Frankly, these guns are in a lot better condition than the types of rusty musket that UK drill rappers tend to bop around with, but let's go on. In fact, Digger D actually got in quite a lot of trouble in his past life, showing off the tiny pathetic type of guns that UK drillers tend to get their hands on in a social media clip that apparently quite literally put him in the slammer. That is a young Digger D showing off what looks to be two very small pistols. The sort of, I don't know what they call these little baby, baby guns. I hear rappers in the UK talking about baby nines. I suppose that's what he's showing off. But it's just kind of ironic, like he's got the gloves on. But I better put gloves on so I don't leave fingerprints on these guns. But also, it's going straight on Snapchat, baby. Straight up bait face, no bally, none of that. And he's just showing off. Oh, <laughs> Homie even told him to show the side of it in case the feds didn't have enough evidence. God damn. Digger D would actually later show a literal police statement from him being arrested for showing off guns on social media. So let's have a little look at this, shall we? This is on UK Drill subreddit. On Tuesday, the 22nd of January, 2019, at around 1.30 in the morning, a uniformed police officer armed with a Glock 17 self-loading pistol and a taser executed a warrant to arrest two suspects for possession of a firearm with intent and serious disorder offenses. With the individuals at the address wanted for being linked to a number of incidents where shots had been fired and 9mm casings were found, the two suspects had also been seen to brandish two handguns on social media. Burners for days. 
The officer approached the door and then shouted through it, armed police, anyone inside, please come to the door with your hands on your head, do it now. The officer pointed his Glock into the address to cover any threat that might come from inside before warning them about armed police dogs. The officer then heard a male's voice, which very well may have been Digger D, saying, I'm here, we're coming down. The officer then asked the male to walk slowly out from the corridor where the stairs were, with a young man who he believed to be one of the suspects on the warrant, then coming from around the corner with his hands on his head, while the officer continued to point the Glock at him, telling him to keep his hands on his head and walk slowly towards him, with the male being taken away from the address, and the next suspect being removed from the property in the same manner as the first. So look, Digger D is really out here sitting in his crib with little tiny pistols, posting them on social media, and the feds are coming around immediately. But why on earth would the feds not want Digger D and his homeboys to have a pistol? Well, people, let me direct you to a little incident where Digger D and his former crew 1011 were involved in a shooting in the middle of a busy London street for all to see. Now look, it's a little bit hard to understand exactly what's going on here, but this is basically just a massive brawl, knife fight, shootout going on in the middle of the street. People are trying to gain access to cars. It's freaking GTA out here. And look, I don't know exactly who this is, but they're pulling out straps, they're rising them up and they're shooting in the middle of the street. You got civilians, pedestrians all around here. This is going off, okay? Anybody who wants to say the UK doesn't get busy. This is a big shootout going on right here. And these are these are young, these are very young men. You got guys running in the street. It's absolute chaos. Knives are being swung, bullets are being fired. It's all out total carnage, honestly. And it's honestly a blessing that nobody lost their life in this incident, frankly. I don't know how good the aim is on these tiny little piddly pistols that you see in these videos. Certainly no red dot scope on any of these. No red light, green light going on here, but frankly terrifying. So following this incident, that same original clip of Digger D with the guns was circulating on Reddit with people saying, these man are not back anytime soon. So Digger D ended up getting a two and a half year sentence and Digger D's ongoing legal situation was covered in a very good documentary on BBC called Defending Digger D. In fact, an interesting tidbit from that documentary about Digger D was where he talks about being stabbed in the eye whilst in jail, nearly losing his sight. This is something that he actually elaborated on in lyrics in his track Red Light, Green Light, where Digger says that the police claimed that he shot someone in the face and they lost sight in both of their eyes and he didn't believe in karma until he got caught in jail and got stabbed in his own eye. With paperwork still circulating on Reddit purporting to prove that Digger D actually beat two attempted murder charges, with one being a shooting where somebody did indeed lose their sight. Legal paperwork which reads, you have been accused of attempted murder. It's alleged that on a redacted date in 2017, you were involved in an incident where two males were shot with a shotgun and that one of the males was severely injured in the shooting, losing his sight. Basically, Digger D, aka Shotty Shane, is not to be messed with apparently. He makes amazing music. He definitely has experienced the street life. But thankfully, he is now a successful musician, far away from the past life of crime. And frankly, I think that being one of the best and most exciting musicians that the UK has to offer suits him a lot better than being a shotgun toting shooter. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Are you guys Digger D fans? Is this the first time you've heard about Digger D? What did you think of his new mixtape? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, show some love, all that good stuff. More videos coming very soon. And until next time, gang, I'm out. Peace.